Hello, tender hearted viewers, and welcome to Animal World, our co inhabitants. On today's programme, we present part one of a two part series featuring eight year old Olivia Binfield, a little girl with a big heart. Although just a child, Olivia dedicates herself to protecting and preserving our animal friends. For example, in 2011, she appeared on the popular British TV show Britain's Got Talent, reciting her poem Endangered Animals. Olivia presented the poem with Lucy, her bow constrictor friend, draped lovingly around her neck. Here is Olivia's recitation of Endangered Animals. Come on, don't you have a heart? You don't want these animals to depart. Forget the X Factor and the top 10 singing chart. Look at the most endangered animals and the poison dart. The armour leopard, Siberian tiger and polar bear. They're so gorgeous, it's just not fair. If I say their Latin names, will you listen more? Oh, Lewis, please don't say this is a bore. Uranus Komodoensis, Komodo dragon, by the way. Why does man have to take them all away? Why does he hunt and poach? Man, you are such a fool! Snake skin delight for handbags? That is just not cool. Please listen to my pattern, although it may not be in fashion. I cannot sing it, you might laugh. I cannot dance, you would say that I was daft. But I am seven and I want these animals to last. How did you get into writing poetry? Did you read poems? I did read a couple of poems and my grandpa is a poet and he's a really good artist. We just have the same little feeling for poetry. Why did Olivia decide to compose this poem? When I went on Britain's Got Talent, I decided to write a poem to show that we shouldn't harm animals. And animals are cute and they deserve looking after. Britain's Got Talent is watched by many people and if I could spread the word, the best way to do it would be on Britain's Got Talent and I can show like thousands and millions of people who watch it. When and how did you first become interested in animals? I became interested in animals when I was very young. And I I've always loved them ever since then. Can you tell us about Lucy, your pet boa constrictor? Well, Lucy's really friendly and she would never harm any human. And I've had her for a while. And she is... And when the sun shines on her scales, it, um, they go purple and different colours. And it's really beautiful. She's um, really nice and I sometimes play with her. She's really elegant and um, she, she often trends up little branches that we put in her tank. Why did you choose Lucy out of all of your pets? Lucy is really clever and she's really brave and, he, and she won't run off or anything. She's very calm. What other pets do you have? I have three dogs. One's a mummy and there's two puppies. The mummy and the girl dog are chocolate and the boy dog is yellow. And then I've got a rabbit called Aslan. And we've got two horses, Bonnie and Boo. Do you see any ways that they show you that they love you? Yeah, because I do have these books and they tell me what um, dog language. And it, when they lick you, it means that they love you. Aslan really loves being picked up and snuggling in your arms. And when she goes in his arms, he, he's really quiet and he loves taking them from hard fed. And um, Bonnie and Boo some, will, will um, they swish their tails and they eat their hair on your arm. And it's really cute. Olivia next showed us her room, which is filled with toys and books about animals. This is the food and um, dog and area. Over here we have the um, bears and monkeys and animals that bring us the trees. This is um, reptiles, birds and amphibians. This is cats 
Um, that's, this down here is my water area and this is other animals. Can you tell us about your photos as well? Oh. The, this, um, that's me on my birthday and I was kissing a tortoise. This was when I went to Doral and it was one of the bats I joked. This down here is an, one of the eye eyes I saw in the Ecosia and this was the um, type of poison dart frog that I held. These are some lions and these are some monkeys that we saw hopping around the enclosures. Here is a little tiger I got when I went to a wild, a wild place and I named it after one of the tigers I saw. He's called Bruno. The tiger, Bruno is one of the most comfortable ones who um, he, lay, he actually laid by us and he didn't growl or anything. And he was really tame pretty much but he was still wild. And he was really cute, and he was one of the oldest tigers there in the place. Olivia is deeply concerned about the thoughtless and cruel ways in which humans often treat our animal co-inhabitants. Well, there are lots of ways we harm animals. We cut down trees, which are important for animals that live in trees. Sometimes we poach for sport, and lots of people kill them for medicine, like tiger bones and tiger wine and fur. People call them for fur, like tiger skins and coats, and sometimes even people use them for carpets, which really isn't nice. Because of her compassion for animals, Olivia decided on her own at age three not to eat meat. Some of the teachers tried to make me eat meat, but I said no. Nope. I remember that um, we went for a drive and she saw the lambs in the field and then she sort of put two and two together that the food was from, and I'm never eating animals, no animals, and wanted to know all the names of the animals, the cow and the beef, so that she would never eat any of them. I support her totally because it's um, what she wants and you know it's what she believes in so absolutely behind her. And was, it, was it easy to get the school in alignment with her? Uh, yeah the school had been fine they were a little bit to begin with I think they thought she was just being fussy mm. um, but now they know what she's like and they all want to hear her stories. Miss Binfield fully supports her daughter's efforts to help preserve and protect our animal co-inhabitants. I just remember um, loving animals and thinking you could always rely on them and you can't rely on people and that um, animals are always there for you and love you no matter what if you're having a bad day or they don't mind, they're always there for you so I think um, I just love all animals and I'd love to help them. How do you um, encourage and support her passion? Um, or whatever she wants to do in the holidays. If she wants to go and um, see a certain animal or something, we go and do it. Um, I am constantly buying books. <laughs> uh, she has hundreds and hundreds of books, of information books and very heavy encyclopedias where she just sits and reads on them all the time. So I'm constantly buying books in that way. Mm -hmm. And all the wildlife um, things that we can that she wants to join. Let's now hear one more fine poem by Olivia entitled, Going, Going, Gone. You may say I'm only seven, but I don't want the animals to go to heaven before they've had a decent life. I don't want them to be cut up with the butcher's knife. You may say I'm rather small, but what I'm believing my heart is big and tall. Endangered animals need to be saved. Those who hunt and kill them are depraved. Michael, I hear you do a funny pitch, but it's no joke when the red lemur ends in the ditch. David, I hear you from the big USA, so help us to keep greedy poachers away. Forget Baywatch, there's Animal Watch, eh? Beautiful, peace-loving vegetarian Amanda. You share these traits with the giant panda. The black rhino has lived for a million years. Why kill it for its horse? That's just superstitious fears. The African wild dog, the pygmy hog, the Hamilton frog, the hispid hare, the polar bear, the common skate. 
who are we to decide their fate? How does Olivia encourage other children to treat animals with respect? To find out, as well as hear another of her poems, please join us again tomorrow on Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, as we present the concluding part of our interview with the delightful, dedicated, young animal advocate, Olivia Binfield. For more information on Olivia Binfield, please visit www.oliviabinfield.co.uk or follow her on Facebook. Read her tweets at www.twitter.com forward slash Olivia Binfield. Thank you for your presence today on our program. May all beings on earth be forever free, respected and allowed to live in dignity. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.